Okay, we're going to go ahead and start ISO line 5 for this tutorial. So let's take a look at the model here. Um, this time we have, like most of our drawings, we have a 4 inch long, 1.5 inch wide, and 2.5 inch tall object. Uh, what I'm going to do here, as I've done before, draw the solid, and I'm going to then kind of draw the H shape that you kind of see in this front view. Let's go ahead and start with the solid, R for rectangle, click once at the origin, move away from the origin, without clicking a second time I just type in 4 comma 1.5, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, hit enter, P for push pull, click once on that surface, move your mouse up, type in 2.5 and hit enter. Okay, I'm going to kind of roll in a little bit. Now I can approach this two ways. You might see that you have what's called the view menu here. I could click on front and that'll make me allow me to look at the front. If you don't see that menu you can go underneath your view option toolbars and just make sure views is selected. That'll bring up that toolbar. It's a great toolbar to have. So I'm using the front view. Going back to my drawing Okay, I'm going to draw this outline here, and we can see there's a few measurements that are going to help us out. We know that this is three quarters of an inch. This line is an inch and a half, and this line here is one. And the same thing's happening on the opposite side. So it's three quarters of an inch down, one and a half inch over, one inch down, and then back. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit my tape measure, click once, you can see I'm in the front view, it's listed there in the upper left hand corner, click once, come down, three quarters of an inch, hit enter, L for line tool, I'm going to click once here, I'm going to move over to the right, and we want to type in one and a half or 1.5, and come down and type in 1 for 1 inch and then just move over there it is okay I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side T for tape measure click once okay once again I could probably even touch this edge here move across and that's going to put me at exactly 3 quarters of an inch or I could also type in 3 quarters if it doesn't find it hit enter Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit L for line tool. I'm going to go ahead and click once here. Once again, it came in one and a half inches or 1.5. And I can do the same thing. I can touch this edge, move across. It found that point, which is also an inch down. Click, come over, click again. So there's my H. I'm going to go ahead and orbit, push down on my wheel on my mouse, and just kind of click and drag. P for push-pull, click once, go all the way back, now orbit again, click, go all the way back, and there it is, ISO line number five. Go ahead and save your work, and move on to the next drawing.